So the women's singles, the second of the semi-finals. Tai Su Ying awaits the winner of this match. Jane Lynn Fandal of the Philippines is our umpire for this. Kelvin Martin of Barbados, the service judge. So I think the players are going to change ends before the start of the warm-up. Well, no doubt who the fans will be supporting. And it won't be the Olympic silver medalist. Pusala Venkata Sindhu, born in Sakandarabad, just north of Hyderabad. Tall athletes, that's about 5 foot 11. Got up two places in the world ranking to number nine, but she has been as high as eight. But importantly for her, it's the first time she's gone above Sina Nawal in the world ranking. Now her semi-final, her quarter-final yesterday against Liang Xiaoyu of Singapore, she needed three games. There dropped the second game. Awfully close, wasn't it? 21-23. And it was a tight deciding game as well. That was an hour and 19 minutes, that quarter-final. So to the local player, the 23-year-old in her second Super Series semi-final. She reached the semi-final of the Denmark Premier Super Series. She has been as high as 20 just one week at the end of October last year. 26 in the world ranking at the moment. So as I was telling you, three games in her last two matches, including that wonderful victory yesterday against the former world number one and the winner of this event six years ago, Sina Nawal. So this will uh, be the third meeting between these two players. In fact, this is our only semi-final this evening where uh, there is a head-to-head -head that isn't the first meeting. And this, as you can see, will be the third meeting between the two. But the first two were both won by Pusala Venkata Sindhu the last time they met. It was a couple of years ago, though, at the Asian Championships in the first round in Gimchon in Korea. And it was three games on that occasion. PV Sindhu winning through 21-18 in that deciding game last time they met. Well, this is the tenth consecutive appearance here at her home event for the 23-year-old, which means that she first played here as a 14-year-old, lost in the qualifying in 2007. Not the player we're looking at at the moment, but her opponent. Now, there's the only player, home player, to ever have won a title here at the Hong Kong Open, dating all the way back to the very first. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Buzarna First in 1982. Well, I said there'd be no doubt who the fans were supporting. So the second of the women's singles semi-finals gets underway. And that's a, a positive start, isn't it, from PV Sindhu. First female athlete from India in any sport to win an Olympic silver medal. 66 and a half million people in India alone watched that final. <laughs> against Carolina Marin.
What a year PV Sindhu has had. First ever Super Series title last week in China. Premier Super Series at that. That's wide. Well, oh, she wants the shuttle changed. Lens. Yeah, no question. Well, a misjudgment followed up by an unforced error. Completely deceived. Oh, well, it was called out. PV Sindhu is going to challenge that. I'm not sure we'll see from this angle. Yeah, she completely lost her footing. Here we go. What does Hawkeye say? Yeah, clear me out. That's really, really good pressure. Flat pushes. One, two, three. Yeah. Nicely done. again there's the pressure and again once again it takes three before she wins the rally well, that doesn't matter that doesn't take much energy oh. 
A good smash, follows up. Yeah, it's good aggression. I like that. Well, we know there's a Hong Kong player in the men's singles final, Ng Ka Long. So there's either going to be a home player in the two sim singles finals or there's going to be two Indian players in the two singles finals. So it's a two-point advantage for the Olympic silver medalist PV Sindhu at the mid-game interval. Nine minutes into the match. Well, no male player from Hong Kong has ever won a Super Series title, Super Series inception. 2007 Indian players have won both singles at a Super Series event previously that was two years ago at the China Open Shrikanth Kadambi won the men's singles and signed a name of the women's singles wide well who would have thought at the start of the week that we'd either have two players from Hong Kong in the singles finals or two players from India wonder what odds you would have got for that Super. Right deep into the corner. Some of the players were telling me earlier in the week from this near side of the court, it's you played into the opponent's deep backhand corner, it's virtually impossible to hit it out. Because there's not only an ways drift, there's a sideways drift as well. And that's clearly a Well, 
umpire covering her microphone so we couldn't hear what was being said. That angle. My goodness, that's one of her trademark shots, isn't it? Sala Venkata Sindhu. Yeah, round the heads. Acute angle. Half pace. Oh, she does play that well. the year that coach now coach Wang Chen had a quick glimpse of her the year that she won the title here 2008 there were actually two Hong Kong players in the women's singles semi-final Zhu Mi was the other out as well. That's a real indication the last two rallies of the drift here. Yeah, she had time to look down at the line, get her spatial awareness, made right decision. Yeah, well that's a nice angle again from PV Sindhu. trip with her father Romana
Oh, it's called goods. Yeah. Oh, no argument, no challenge from Chiang Ami. then the wrong choice of shots from the Hong Kong player. Opening game to Pusala Venkata Sindhu, 21-14 in a little over 14, 18 minutes and one game to the good. The Olympic silver medalist. uses our height so well. Well, Wang Chen advising her player that if she gets to the net first, keep your opponent away from the net, push it to the back. I wonder if that's a little dangerous, especially considering the drift. But obviously, the former champion, Wang Chen, doesn't want her player been dominated from the front of the court. That's good aggression. And waited for the right opportunity in that rally. And of course, PV Sindhu, not only a, an Olympic silver medal, two World Championship bronze medals. 
First of all in Guangzhou in 2013 and then a year later in Copenhagen. Obviously a big tournament player. Oh, that's amazing defence. How on earth did she manage to play that? Most players would have had to play the straight block off the smash here a full stretch and she looked as if she was it had pretty much gone past her look at that how did she play that cross court That's brilliant recovery. Was in all sorts of trouble, out of position. PV Sindhu. wide Five, two. that's a good clear yeah. you can tell immediately the punch clear there from Rusala Venkata Sindhu deep into her opponent's Six, forehand corner. Two. That one forcing her opponent to take it late. And of course, home fans absolutely delighted to see Chang An Yi in today's semi final, but I'm sure most of India would have relished seeing. The 2012 Olympic bronze medalist Sina Dewal playing against the Rio Olympic silver medalist PV Sindhu. That's a good smash. There's been a huge improvement this year in this young lady, Chang Ang Yi. She's got lovely skills, and she's only going to get better. Good movement too. That's incredible. What a shot. That's just amazing. Oh, challenge that. Well, I was sure that was wide. No, it wasn't. Well, what a good shot from Chang Lang Yi.
Well, she's on fire at the moment, is Chung Ang Yi. Four straight points, back level. It's going wide. That's good. Yeah. So too was that backhand. Didn't try to be too clever. Just uh, a little movement of the racket head guiding it down across court. Too flat, that's gone long. Look at that dive. That's a great angle, it really is. Look at that delightful skill. Did she defend that? Look, defensively, she was in all sorts of a tangle. That was a brilliant backhand net shot, wasn't it? Yeah, my goodness, she was in a tangle. Look at this. How did she place that so carefully over the net? Seemed to be a desperation shot. One point advantage is with PV Sindhu at the mid game interval here of game number two.
保藥，好多都係推，但你俾多佢反手，好多時候你你你時候你中間俾佢啊嘛，他都是推你頭頂，他反手邊推頭頂，明白嗎？That's a good plan. Overdone the angle this time. Trading, punch clears, trying to get the other off balance. That's good again. I love that clear. Love it. Gone wide, and is this the, the decisive move? Good front runner is PV Sindhu. You can see the determination in Chiangnan Yi.
Oh, yes, that's good. Well, so much for my theory at 15-11 that it was the decisive move from PB Sindhu. the way she comes lunging forward. Oh, no shot, that's going wide. enough BV Sindhu that found the net she's worked the rally so well had her opponent all over the place both of them asked to towel down nearly 40 minutes into the match. Well, it goes without saying, these next few rallies are crucial. I don't believe it. How on earth did you get those earlier ones back? Immediately asked for the court to be mopped. Look at that. Look at that. It's just ridiculously good. And then defended the smash off the body. That first one. And they just couldn't get it away. Couldn't get it deep enough away from PV Sindhu. huge effort to take the shuttle early paying dividends for PV Sindhu this next one look at that really reaches out takes it early tight spinning net shot and now just three points away from a third Super Series tournament final. First in Denmark last year. Oh, what a delightful backhand net shot once again from Chang An Yi. Look at this. 15, 18. Oh, that's great skills. Shut 
definitely worth the challenge. Here we go. What does Hawkeye say? Yeah, it was in. Good challenge. And now just two points away from a second final in two weeks. Match point opportunities. Not a million miles away. Still match point, of course. Second opportunity for PV Sindhu. Brilliant. A second final in two weeks for PV Sindhu. She breaks the hearts of the home fans as and he her quest falls short at semi-final stage but what a day for India they will have representatives in both the men's and women's singles finals tomorrow PV Sindhu coming through this 21-14 21-16 in a match lasting 46 minutes.